Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Salt Marsh Sunday. Um, going to try to do it early this week, only because we have some prime tides during the day, and the prime tide isn't until really late tonight. So, um, if some of you followed along yesterday, and I actually just dropped a post about it this morning, I uh, went up to Atlantic City yesterday, and uh, on a scouting mission, I literally had no plan um, of what to do except for Google Earth. Um, scouted some places on Google Earth, went up there, I was met with a completely flooded tide, the marshes were covered, which made things very, very difficult. But three casts in, I ended up landing uh, a banger of a backwater striped bass, man. Um, the next hour or so was a little bit, you know, dull, didn't really have any action. But once the uh, water started to recede a little bit, I could see what I was working with, and it ended up being probably, without a doubt, my best um, skinny water bass session of the year. So I'm um, hoping to run back up there now, um, about halfway there. I uh, decided to do this intro. I actually found this little point behind me that looked like uh, it was a pretty solid spot somewhere where I can drop some casts a little bit. Um, but uh, we're going to take our time getting up there because, again, we're coming off this new moon and the, the marshes are completely covered. So, um, so we're going to work our way up there, maybe hit a couple places on the way and just go from there. Just going to try to have fun today uh, exploring a new area. So it, it's new for you as it, as it is for me. Um, but it's epic to I wish I had the back kind of backwater uh, in my area that Atlantic City does. So, but um, just going to turn this around real quick. I'll show you what we're working with. So, have some flooded marsh points here. A couple of them that look like they're pretty decent. Got a couple little nooks here. I was going to drop a, a couple casts before um, before making my way up there. So. Uh, basically, my go-to, um, I'll show it to you, has been for backwater, has been these four and a half inch uh, dart spins uh, in the shrimp color. Uh, golds have just been incredible for me this year. I mean, they, I don't know what it is, golds work. And then my go-to nighttime is always this uh, wild shine. So that's what she looks like all rigged up. Love these things. They look amazing in the water. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my favorite part about these is they got incredible action on the fall. So as it's dropping through the water column, that tail is always spinning. It's always moving, always doing its thing. Basically, you could give this lure to a novice and they, they, could, not, they could not screw it up. So great 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 it's the lore of the decade i absolutely love them and we can't forget uh about our eye strike jig heads best jig heads out there they're my absolute favorite um for the skinny water stuff but um do need a little bit of super glue but um you know that's just comes with the territory with the dart spins so we're gonna we're gonna get the cast in here make a couple cast and keep moving and we can't forget uh about our eye strike jig heads best jig heads out there they're my absolute favorite um for the skinny water stuff but um do need a little bit of super glue but um you know that's just comes with the territory with the dart spins so we're gonna we're gonna get the cast in here make a couple cast and keep moving Gotta lower our aerials. This bridge is a little sketch, I'm not gonna lie. I was sort of crapping myself yesterday, but it worked. We got low clearance and we literally have that one tiny opening there that is just wide enough for, to sneak my boat through. Wow, see? to step off pretty crazy I found all this just by happenstance doing exploring so 
on and have made it literally a few inches on either side. So we're gonna pick it back up. That little shortcut saves about, it's gotta save a half hour for sure because the rest of it, if I had to do it, is like all no wake zone. Uh, it's a huge pain. Which brings us right, right behind Atlantic City. It's the Borgata. It's, it's a really enjoyable ride up here. A lot of nice scenery. But there's a lot of shallow areas, so you gotta follow your track lines to a T. Can't step out of them even five feet in either direction. So this is the bad part. Uh, we got the train bridge here in Atlantic City and it's closed. Uh, so I just made the phone call and they got a train coming in 10 minutes and they might have to, uh, I might have to wait 10 or 15 minutes for the uh, bridge to uh, open to, for the train to go by. So he's going to check and see if he can get the all clear to open it real quick. If not, we're going to have to just wait it out. Uh, it's just all part of coming up here. Oh, look, <clears throat> we got it. That's awesome. So now the train bridge rotates. So you can get uh, boots through. It's pretty cool. I'm always fascinated by these things. This guy was um, really nice. I appreciate it. He did it for me yesterday too. It's always good to show appreciation to these guys because they're doing you solid. Now we're just going to squeeze our way through. Pretty cool. It's amazing that a train goes over top of this. Thank you very much, bud. And we're off again. There's the Brigada. Here's the windmills. We'll, we'll get a closer view of the windmills when we go around the next bend. They're pretty awesome. And there's the windmills. They're absolutely giant. And that's the Brigada. There's Harris. Like I said, it's a beautiful ride. A lot of interesting things to look at that I don't normally get to see. You can only really see them from the parkway, or the expressway, rather. So, while we're waiting for the tide to empty out a little bit, um, and turn around, start running, I think we might go togging the rock piles in the inlet, or maybe even the bridge up here. I did bring some crabs. You always got to have a couple different options. <clears throat> Never just have one game plan because trust me, it changes all the time. So we're going to go scope that out. It is a little bit windy, so we're going to see how the inlet rocks are. Uh, the back side of Harris, the back side of Brigada. So we just stopped at some of these inlet rocks because the bridge was all full of people. Um, I'm going to give it a shot here for a little bit, but it's a little sketchy, so I don't know how long I'm actually going to stay here and do this, but it's worth a shot while we're here. Alright, yeah, it's a little too sketchy. A um, couple bites, but that was it. It seemed like they were being a little bit picky, so um, 
I forgot to charge my trolling motor yesterday, so I didn't want to burn up too much uh, juice on auto anchor. So, might check out the bridge on the way back, but if not, we're gonna we're gonna go straight to Basson. Well, our first stop, we got our first bass. So, I basically just focused on this little creek that was emptying out um and actually he had a buddy that followed him up to the boat so that's awesome man that was four casts it took to get that fish just uh right in that creek mouth that little rip line coming out of there they were right in there let's try to get some more little guy wind picked up like absolutely crazy i don't know what the hell's going on here today was supposed to be the nice day but it's not nice at all i mean it's got to be blowing sustained 15 probably gusting to 20 i don't know so we're going to continue to grind it out here but it's not making it easy that's for damn sure very next cast just banged another it's a little guy fish almost looked like he was caught before just popped another one um, I got a couple bites in this different area but um, I guess the jig fouled and turned in on itself but he, he choked that one So I just released another one and I got this one. I didn't I didn't put the other one on my snap. Uh, I was trying to get pictures of my camera. But not bad, not bad at all. It's a pretty damn awesome bite, I'll tell you what. Smile for Saltmarsh Sunday, fella. Smile for the camera. Well, that's it for uh Salt Mar Sunday, Atlantic City edition. So this will be part one. Uh, hopefully it stops blowing so bad and I can get out later tonight. Wrap up when I'm back at the dock or back at the house or something. And like I said, going to shoot for uh, a part two later tonight. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the, um, the wind stops blowing. So... So uh, we're gonna plan on doing that, but I'm starting to lose the tide now and I gotta get going back home before that happens uh, because it's gonna take me a while. So I'll catch up with you guys and I'll do it. A... All right guys, thanks for hanging with me on this one. We're gonna get rolling. So I wasn't kidding, it really is. Got the wind streaks all over the bay it's really really choppy so it just makes everything super difficult how do you like that for the name of an island man killer island it's crazy oh we're working with a water temp of 63.2 for the people that are interested in that some of the areas on the way up here, I was registering 61. The tide's low enough this time that I can uh, actually sneak under this bridge. That's awesome. Because I did not feel like waiting. Pretty crazy. Made it back through the little little back alley cut through. That's for you, Billy. I know you like that one. All right, so I just got back in the car. Um, 
So, ah, uh, it was a really great session, man. Super happy with that. There was a couple fish I got that I didn't put on there because my DSLR died and I had to start using um, my camera, or I'm sorry, my phone for pictures and stuff like that. So I had it set up on a tripod. Um, anyway, what a great session. Uh, so much fun going to explore a new area that you've literally never fished before. Um, I had fished it a little bit for flounder, but never, never really all that much. Not like that. Um, it's very rewarding. Nobody gave me spots. I didn't talk to anybody. I basically looked on Google Earth, scouted out a few areas that uh, I thought looked, um, looked promising. And, um, man, I caught fish yesterday and today uh, and they were some of my you know greatest backwater days I would say uh, in a very very long time uh, this fall anyway it was just like constant action constant action um, the reason why I decided to uh, head up there is like I was getting really sick of my area um, I was get I was tired of getting the results that I was getting and um, my best advice is step outside your comfort zone so I knew it was time to step outside of my comfort zone and do something that I never did before and sometimes it's a bust and sometimes it, it's gold and it really worked out for me the last two days um, the biggest thing I advice I can give you if you do what you always did you're gonna get what you always got and that was uh, the rut that I was falling into and um, needed to break out of it and th this is like exactly what I needed the last two days to like really go up there and 